Good morning, everybody. I'm Assembly Member Sean Ryan. We're going to read a book today called The Invisible Strength. Let's take a look at the cover. It looks like we have a, maybe a mom and two children, a heart. Oh, I wonder what's going on in this book. Well, let's, let's figure it out. Ready to go? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. There they are in bed, sleeping like kid, good kids. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried as they ran out to her. There's mom on the couch relaxing with the kids. Now everyone's awake. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared, Mom said. You know we're always together no matter what. But how can we be together where you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. They're clinging on to Mom's legs. They do not want to go back to bed. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible strength. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made out of love. But if you can't see the string, how do you know it's even there, asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it in your heart and know that you're always connected to everyone that you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel a tug of it on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts. There's the twins at school. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? She sure does, said mom. And best friends, like me and Lucy? Yes, best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, said mom. Would it reach me if I was a submarine captain deep in the ocean? Asked Jeremy. Yes, said mom, even there. Or... If I'm a mountain climber, yes, even there. A ballerina in France, even there. A jungle explorer, even there. Look at, look at her as a jungle explorer. What book is she reading? And look what's right above her, a big snake. How about an astronaut in outer space? even there. Then Jeremy asked quietly, can the string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yep, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Look, someone's eating cookies and they shouldn't be. What's mom say? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger and as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and you can't agree about things like what movies to see, look, they're older now, or who's gonna drive in the front seat, or what time to go to bed, oh, that's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as Mace, mom chased the twins back into bed. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same noise. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have, and all the strings their moms have, and their friends have, and their other friends have, until everyone in the whole world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, 
they could clearly see. What could they see? That no one is ever alone. That was a very nice book. Really glad you took the time to listen to the book today, read along with me. And you can go to the library and pull this out. Remember, it's called The Invisible String by Patrice Kerst. Hope you enjoyed the book.